What is going on guys, Sonic and the Bean Show here. Today we are looking at the brand new Jack Specific Sonic Prime Angels Voyage Ship playset. So this is their first ever Sonic Prime playset and it is one that I am very excited to get into because Knuckles the Dread is actually my favorite in the show. So it's nice to get a figure of him but also a playset on top of that and I am all for it. So let's look over the giant box right here. It's actually like the exact same height as like my whole diorama piece right here but you know up here we got Sonic and then we got the Sonic Prime logo along with Netflix but we also got the playset render right here and then we got the new uh, two and a half inch Knuckles the Dread uh, figure right here now it does show like a function here for the playset uh, it says like trap door so we got that going on here but then at the bottom if I can try to show this off but you got the name of the set and then a Jack specific logo right there. At the top of the box, we really just got the logo again and then the name of the set. And then the bottom is, of course, you know, the barcode and all that. To the side right here, we just got a shot of Sonic. Got the Sonic Prime logo up here. And then it does really just continue throughout there. But then on this side, which I gotta actually uh, flip the box like this because this is how this side looks. And then finally coming all the way to the back, we get another shot of the playset, the figure, and then it does show like all of the stuff it got going on, like the fire cannon right here. And at the bottom it says like rolling wheels. We got the trap door that we've seen. And then there's actually like a storage right here. Uh, for the pirate ship and then the rest of the bottom and yeah so without further ado let's go ahead and crack this out of the packaging and take a closer look okay so here is everything out of the box right here we have the entire playset put together along with the figure that came with it and this is a large set right here I can't even like really show off the, the rest of the top like it's it's a pretty large set uh I, th I feel like the length of it is probably like the same as the box really but it, it's pretty large like here's like the four inch sonic figure right here next to it uh you can see it's yeah and that's not even like like it's like way up here if i can just show you that like now before i get into the set as always i am going to show off the figure so here is Knuckles the Dread. This is actually a really, really, really nice figure. And of course, like I said, Knuckles the Dread, uh, he was always my favorite in the show. And I have to say, <laughs> I'm liking this figure a lot. So you got like his pirate hat, and then you got like the gold tooth right there. I really like the sculpt here on like the gloves and then the boots. And uh, even like the jacket he got going on. And the quills look really, really nice. Uh, it's kind of weird, this one's not painted. I don't know if that's really like that, uh, along with this one uh, that you can see. So I don't know if they're supposed to be painted, uh, not entirely too sure, but uh, this is a really nice looking Knuckles figure. I will compare him, well actually uh, the articulation, so you can move at the head, surprisingly. It's uh, really, really good. Uh, I mean, I know like the quills is kind of like curved up, so they're not really going to get in the way. But uh, I wasn't expecting the head to turn really nice. I like that. Uh, you do have the arms. They can move up and down. And then there is a hinge to the shoulder. Uh, obviously, when you move the arms up, you have to put it you know, underneath the quill right here. Uh, same thing with like this one, as you can see. So you have that. And then, of course, the legs. Uh, you know, legs can go up. And... Uh, uh, you know back like that so yeah but I, I like this figure though. I think this is actually really really nice so let's actually compare him so here he is with the regular knuckles figure and they are it looks like they're about the same height but uh, that's them here is the movie knuckles figure right here and then we have the classic knuckles figure so check that out yep he is short and then here is knuckles with like 
Sonic. We're going to put them all here. I would like put them on the floor, but I have to hold them to show off the pirate ship. But here's all of them uh, next to each other. If I can try to get them all. Which is a little difficult, but yeah, here is all of them together right here. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so now on to the pirate ship. There is a lot to really talk about here, because there is a lot going on here. So, uh, let me actually talk about the assembly. Um, so I will say there's a, a lot of pieces you're putting in. There's a lot of pieces. Uh, some parts were tedious. For me, I think it was probably this back door right here so there is like a you know like a back door or like a storage here for um, you know the pirate ship that part was a little tedious because uh, this pirate ship like the whole thing right here this these are like two separate pieces so you're kind of just putting them together uh, basically and when you do that you have to put this and then of course this back door while you're closing at the same time this was annoying because this one just kept wanting to fall um you know this just want to keep falling out really uh but it's pretty cool i like that and then you have this i will say this piece right here uh i would put this through here before you start to connect these uh because you need to have this over this thing before you connect these because if you try to connect these you're not going to be able to connect that through here because you have to like stretch this out so you have that I think the only thing that's uh not the best here for this uh, playset is there's not really a whole lot of room so there's pegs around the ship like you know like on the deck so there's one here for you know for a steering wheel for uh, Knuckles the Dread and then you know there's some here for the cannons uh, that you can place on as well but for the middle portion uh not really like a whole lot of space you can do here see i can't really put knuckles like here i mean i can there's just not a whole lot of room that you can do here i feel like most of it is really just going to be like where the cannons are like to the side um and then a little bit right here like there's pegs up here but then you have this thing right there so it seems like most of the room is probably just going to be like back here really. So there's one, you know, you probably have knuckles here and then you can put the crew anywhere else really. Um, but yeah, it, it's pretty much that. Uh, now the functions here, let me actually show off the cannons. So these are actually connected to the pirate ship. But these cannons right here, you know, you can't like take them off and then put them onto the, the pirate ship. But you know. They have like a swivel and then a hinge which goes up and down like that and then they have like the string for the cannonball so you can actually just you know pop that out now i do like that there is a string attached to this because i'm gonna be honest if you would have shot this i don't think you're ever going to find this again because this thing is very very tiny so that is uh pretty smart that they added um the string there but that's nice so again you can just kind of uh, shoot a fire or a fireball, but you can shoot a cannonball right there And there's only three actually uh, You know again, there's like these pegs here, but there's only three actually so you know There's these two right here, and then there's one all the way over here uh, It's kind of odd though because there's one here. <laughs> there's like peg right here You would think another cannon would be there, but uh, I guess there was only like three cannons so yeah I do like this uh, symbol right here on this sail, and you can actually move this. So, you know, it kind of gives it the motion to where it looks like maybe you're about to turn the ship if you want. So that's actually really, really cool. At the bottom of the ship, speaking of moving, so you do get these rudders here that you can move. You move each one, there's one over here. And then there are wheels at the bottom these two wheels right there we do have a sail get my camera focus right there but we do have a sail up here and then we got these two and a lot of these like this these are you're really like connecting like they have like a hook at the end that you connecting like here and you're um, adding this on 
this thing right here to the middle that has a hook that you connect there and then you can of course you know store your figures in there if you want but we do have this trap door right here and you can actually like literally just do this with your finger but um, say I put knuckles here or just anyone uh, where the steering wheel is right here if you hold this down you know that's where the figures will get caught in the trap door so let me take knuckles out of here and then when you let go it does come back up let me actually show this so these guardrails right here you can take them off uh, I mean there's no reason to I, the funny thing is they actually came like that um, when you take this out of the packaging but you can take those off there's no lights or sounds for this thing so you don't need any batteries you're not putting any stickers on like these are stickers but these were already on to um, you know onto the playset so you're not putting any stickers on and no batteries that's really really good so you don't have to worry about doing all of that now don't get me wrong even though I did say this is a really nice playset uh, there is a huge issue that I think a lot of people aren't going to like about it, and that is it's not going to be proportionate with the two and a half inch figures. For example, like like look at uh, Knuckles right here with the steering wheel. Like look at how small it is. Like you know he can't even like um, like really hold on to it like that. Like it is very very small, and I'll even like show off some other characters. So you know we'll add like. Rusty, right? Because Rusty was also in the no place to mention. So here's Rusty right here. We'll put like uh, Sonic right here. Um, and then, I don't know, I guess I'll just put like 9 over here. I, I think, I don't know. Yeah, I'll put 9 like right there. And you can see what I mean. Uh, the figures definitely don't really scale well with this set. Uh, they can't even like go on these either. Because uh, usually, uh, you know, people can actually be up here, you know, when they do like the lookouts or sometimes when they're in battle. I don't think I've mentioned uh, this top piece right here. So uh, when you're putting this whole ship together, uh, obviously you're going to put this on top of that. And uh, you have like these clamps uh, right here um, to like, you know, lock it in uh, so it doesn't like fall off or anything like that. So I wanted to uh, show that off too. Um, and, you know, there are some details here, like there's some stairs that you got, and then it's a little hard to see move Sonic out of there. But there are some stairs right there, you know, right here, pretty much. But you, you can see what I mean, like look at how the figures look on the pirate ship, you know, they're just way too big. Alright, so here's a quick comparison. So we have the Angel's Voyage ship next to the Bowser airship. And like I said, this one is a whole lot bigger uh, than this is. Uh, you can see it side by side. So I'll put this like right here and then look at it compared to Bowser's airship. It's a little hard trying to get all of them on frame right here. Uh, but this one is definitely taking the most space. You can definitely see it to the front uh, and then, you know. Alright, so time for the final verdict on the Angel's Voyage uh, ship playset. Um, it's definitely a nice looking uh, pirate ship. Uh, there's some cool functions it has going on with it and it has a crazy size as you guys can see. Uh, but it has the same problem with the Bowser airship where it still doesn't scale with the 2.5 inch figures. Some people may not care about that, but if you were going to do like some figure photography or stop motion with this thing then it's not going to look that great and keep in mind uh, this entire thing is forty dollars so it's gonna be pretty expensive but yeah that is going to wrap it up right there so if you want to pick this up this is currently hidden target but thank you all so much for watching I hope you all enjoyed the review let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below and I will definitely catch you guys in the next video take care my friends